This is my ode to Newt Gingrich. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. You were known as the most vicious person in Washington. That your leadership was <laughs> worse than Bush. You say racist garbage, hypocritical lies, and you're a pervert, fueled by irrational mush. You cheated on your cancer-stricken wife in the hospital, requesting open marriage as you tried to impeach Clinton for infidelity. Also, you could swing your ding ling into every moving thing, then you didn't pay child support for your own kids irresponsibly. Yet you spent millions of dollars in credit debt on Tiffany's jewelry for one of your mistresses. Ugh, you're so embarrassing. Now you insult our White House by expecting us to make your hoe first lady? Maybe next to classy, beautiful Michelle, there's no comparison. We want our daughters to grow up wanting to be great women. Noble women like President Obama's admirable queen. Not grow up wanting to be nasty, trashy homewreckers like your cheating mistress, which is just obscene. We want our sons to be noble men like Mr. Barack. That man has the character of a real true king. We don't want our boys just thinking they can do or get whatever they want like you as long as they lie, cheat, and steal everything. You're just a lazy, trashy hypocrite and so disorganized. You failed to even get into the Virginia primary. You want to enslave black people and children once again? Then you attack us for thinking you are scary? I'm voting for Obama, but I would pick Ron Paul if the race was between him and you. <laughs> Cause though Ron may be an old racist nut from the wild wild west, at least he's more honest and will let us do whatever we want to do. Yes, Mitt Romney is a pathological liar. But at least he's not a racist or bastard to his kids and wife. Plus you were fired as house speaker because you're crazy, emotionally unstable, and you put your entire team through strife. <laughs> you have the worst character and manipulative crap of everyone, and the worst leadership skills to boot. Even Rick Santorum is a bratty little a-hole, but when he finishes junior high, he'll still be better than you, Newt. <laughs> I would vote for Mitt Romney over you, Gingrich. I would vote for Herman Cain over you. I would vote for Stephen Colbert over all you GOPers. Hell, I would even vote for George W. Bush again over you, too. Because if you have to choose between two horrible, incompetent leaders to see over and over for four years as your chief, you should at least choose the one who makes you laugh, <laughs> even if he doesn't know he's your comical relief. <laughs> Plus, at least Bush didn't verbally abuse us or condescendingly insult us, like you do. See, we're not all racist South Carolinians, Newt, so there's no way in three hells we're ever gonna vote for you. I know Mitt Romney stands a much better chance than you do of defeating Obama in a general election fight, but I'd rather see Obama openly duel that cheating cowboy to the last second than repeatedly survive your cowardice shankings in the night. Yes, though Richie Rich is still out of touch, he still has something you lack. Though you're both dishonest and very arrogant. At least Mitt's not bottom-feeding piece of she trash like you. You don't even deserve to share the air breathed by our president. Deuces! Obama 2012. What? <laughs> Down and pass for us.